You think you were ish? You not even far. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Ice Bash is trash. Can't even lie. Anyway, so Ryder Garcia, that man, he's been tripping. Like, I don't know what's going on with him. Honestly, Ryder Garcia is a really good fighter. He has a really respectable career because he's one of those fighters who seems to actually fight the good fighters instead of like everybody else who's be cherry picking low key with respect. But that is what the sport of box has become. You know, all these top tier fighters who you think are top tier are low key cherry pickers until they make the top tier, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But from what I can understand, Ryder Garcia is not one of those guys. Ryder Garcia he actually stands on business and um we know he's wanted to fight the top fighters and not try to stat pad his record but ever since his house was broken into or his air and whatever it was he's been acting different okay his mental state is obviously off you know he's obviously been tripping the fuck out like he's off acid or something like that having a bad trip but he doesn't do drugs which makes it even more dangerous because it's like okay He's acting like this when he's sober, so it's like, what the fuck is going on with him then? Because we can't even blame drugs because he doesn't do drugs. So why is he acting like this? First, he fakes his death. Like, I don't know if he posted this. Well, it would be him. It, you know, it was on his Instagram. He talked about a bunch of 666 stuff, which is devil numbers. We told you we coming. Ha ha ha. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, out of a bunch of random letters. And uh, apparently he's faking like somebody hurt him. It's like, bro, you're, you're a professional boxer. If somebody break into your house, we know you're going to throw him on the fucking hands you know unless they got you a gunpoint or something but you're not going to convince me somebody broke into ryan garcia's house and beat him the fuck up i'm not buying that so this nigga's clearly just tripping the fuck off maybe he had a drink and somebody slipped something in his drink and fucked his brain all the way up i mean he did make a tweet saying somebody slipped something in his drink or drugged him i mean this man's not speaking proper like that i mean he seems to be like sluggish or you know just somebody that's not really well like here's a clip of him talking about jake paul and how jake paul's ruined the sport of boxing which i agree no he's speaking facts there i can't i can't do this shit i feel so fucking bad for introducing jake paul to boxing i fucked up this is i can't allow, allow this to happen i can't i can't he's disrespecting my sport he's disrespecting everything i just i don't know call my team jake fuck you but then you see stuff like this where he seems pretty clear-headed. Hey guys, it's me, Ryan. Uh, I'm coming on here to explain what's going on. I'm not in possession of my phone. I can't get access to my Instagram. Uh, my cards are locked. And I'm just being real, you know, I'm being real taken advantage. I personally wanted just to send out a video to the people that love me and my fans and family that's concerned that I'm okay. I'm not dead. I believe in Jesus. All those are lies. And, you know, I, they try to put me in jail. They're blocking my cards. I can't access my money. Nobody's hitting me back. I don't know what's going on, but uh, just know I'm okay. Look. So I'm kind of confused. Like, is this nigga tripping the fuck out or not? Because we see him on Twitter wilding the fuck out, but then when we hear him speak, he seems to be clear-headed. So I I'm kind of confused. Either way, he's taking shit to a whole nother level as he's exposing the elites. You know, like I'm not. Well, I am a big conspiracy theory guy, but um, after Ryan went on a barrage of tweets within the last couple hours, he then comes and says that not only that he was raped when he was a little kid, two years old, that he says, but in this Hollywood world apparently he was taken to the woods and was forced to watch some elites rape other children and um this is where shit gets crazy because people are most definitely will say he's crazy now talk to us bro i don't give a fuck bro they held me down and they made me watch the little kids get raped i don't give a fuck anymore where bro they fucking took me to the fucking woods bro and they fucking tied I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes. 
He doesn't want to take us all. No, it's shit like this happening in this elite world that we're not allowed to see. Yeah, most definitely. You know, is there over exaggerated? Yes, but are some of these guys actually doing this type of ish? Most definitely, bro. If you don't think some of these guys in Hollywood or the elite world, you know, these very rich, famous people look at Jeffrey Epstein, are doing like the HT stuff and, you know, doing things to children, you're a fucking fool. We already had a proof of it. You know, what about that fucking Epstein list? Like, I'm pretty sure Jeffrey Epstein wasn't the only motherfucker who was out there doing shit with the kids you know what i'm saying but they got us or at least they tried to convince us that oh you know it was only jeffrey you know he was the only one doing that weird shit nah 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 some of y'all niggas was, was doing the same shit you just haven't been exposed yet so you know he's speaking a little facts but about the whole story of him actually watching you know kids get grapes uh i don't know about that bro like honestly he just might be off his marbles okay apparently he has proof for this but i highly doubt it something's obviously going on right i see uh, something happened I think he was drugged. You know, he like I said, he said he was drugged. I, I believe him because he's not in his right square, obviously. Despite that, I believe, you know, the stories of Bohemian Grove and all that other weird shit that Hollywood be doing. I don't think he actually witnessed something like that, to be honest. Okay, he's not even a big enough star for him to get invited to that type of place. It's like, Ryan Garcia? Why the fuck would he invite him? Like, he's a boxer. Like, he's not nobody special, bro. Like, you gotta be somebody truly in the upper echelon for you to even get those type of invites bro so you telling me ryan garcia get invited to the back room and do back room things hell no bro it's not happening i'm not buying the story bro you're not even famous enough for you to even get invites like that bro and on top of that i'm pretty sure you have to be a free mason in order to indulge in these activities that these guys be doing you know a lot of these celebrities and other power elite people be Freemasons. so that's a different story for another day though but yeah man that's ryan garcia hit tripping the fuck out with that being said I'm logging out. Have a beautiful day. Hey, wait, I'm gonna disengage. Juju to so so where you gon' see this magician play. Now watch me switch, I flip the script, unleash that inner rage. And if I ever let Sakuna out, you'll witness pain. Yeah, I'm a dirty fighter, they know I'm me to rise up.